ప్రస్తుతం నాదర్గుల్లో ఎంవీఎస్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజీలో ఎంపీ కవిత మాట్లాడుతున్నారు లైవ్ లో చూద్దాం But that's not the case. All of us, we could be a zero, we could be a one. I believe all of us matter. And all of us need to take certain actions to matter more. And I believe, as a computer science engineer, since the world functions on zero sign one, and zero matters as much as one does, in this whole world, every single person matters and everything matters. and drawing inspiration from the indian independence movement if you can just look back what we have achieved in this country there was a small tiny action triggered by the britishers they imposed a salt tax on us right and that salt tax united the whole of the nation earlier it was not so india was just a concept it was just a different different states many fiefdoms many serfdoms many small tiny kingdoms but that small action of britishers triggered the unity in the nation and under the leadership of mahatma gandhi ji all of us united we fought and this was in 1930 the salt march and within 17 years india got independence the kind of trigger the salt tax acted as it gave us freedom it gave us independence i mean we could be looking up at a leader but i look at it in the sense that when mahatma gandhi ji walked there picked up a salt and held his hand high that matters to me more than anything and that mattered to indians at that point of time and that is why today i believe we are free i mean a small action a small gesture taken up matters a lot and drawing further india is a place for various movements that we've seen and i'm very proud to mention this next one this is a movement led by women and inspired eco uh, friendly people across the world this is a chipko movement i am talking about this was in 1970s when commercial logging was allowed in india and contractors were given free ride they could go fell the whole of the forest and nobody could do anything about it but this women from the rainy village in uttarakhand they had faced severe problems of devastating floods mudslides not having their a uh, proper firewood to be collected their livelihoods were taken for a toll they were resisting it and they had resisted with all their might and this was a this was one particular day when the contractors came to the rainy village all the men of the village were lured to some other area by trick by the contractor just the women of the village were there women saw that these contractors came in they went there they stood near the trees they tried to stalk talk them out of this but the lumberman was not li- not uh, listening to them they were insisting on cutting the trees so instantly these women emotionally take up a small action all of them just go and hug the trees they say you know if you want to fell the tree no problem we'll just be hugging the tree do whatever you want to do and trust me these women held ground for four days and the government of the day had to come down and take back the contract and the commercial logging logging in that area was cancelled and this led to many many environmental movement across india and not only in, in india across the world this women's movement is even today referred to as eco feminism movement and this is referred as a case study wonderful research has been done on it i mean just think about it instantly emotionally that one thought that came to this women's head that led into such a brilliant movement and it saved so many forests and it inspired so many other people and likewise we are very lucky indians we have a lot of examples to draw from when i think about uh, ramayana this ancient scripture of ours which is greatly revered lord rama's wife gets kidnapped by this ten headed demon king he he put sita in an island away from mainland of india so lord rama now has to build a bridge from mainland india to the island right so he has a support of these great vanara kings the monkey kings and all of them are excited all of them start building the setu or the bridge now monkeys are very powerful very strong these vanaras they are carrying these heavy boulders huge stones they are building a bridge now touched by the plight of lord sri rama his struggle for sita one tiny brown squirrel wants to help so she comes in she is rushing up and down of the mountains taking small tiny pebbles to the shores and the monkeys laugh at her they mock her 
what are you doing? Why are you getting in the way? Get off. You know, they mock her, but she never goes away. She constantly is going up and down, bringing the pebbles and putting there. Now, it's only in the due course of time, in a matter of time, that monkeys realize for all these big boulders and huge stones to stay in place, the binding pebbles are necessary. And they needed those pebbles for the bridge to stay put. And Lord Rama, all of us know, blesses the squirrel and till day, the, the squirrel has, you know, those three beautiful uh, stripes on her back. Well, it is a myth or it is a belief or whatever, but I draw great inspiration from this story. You know, we matter, however small we could be, in the ecosystem, in the larger scheme of things, every positive thought, every brilliant idea, every tiny little action, it somewhere, somehow, brilliantly fits in the scheme of things. And while thinking about these things in the most recent times, in the backdrop of uh, the backdrop of great deal of cultural discrimination and uh, developmental apathy mooted to the Telangana region uh, in 2001, Telangana people have launched an agitation. And of course, there was mainstream political agitation supported by intellectual students. But then women of Telangana slowly made their way into this movement, very softly, but surely. Women carried Bhatkama on their heads. And when a woman carrying a Bhatkama is seen, she doesn't have to resort to sloganeering. She doesn't have to do anything. It is a strong cultural symbol which sends a great message that, yes, we want a separate state. And women did that very powerfully. What did they do? They played, they sang, they laughed, they smiled, they carried a Bhatkama on their head. And women set smaller goals. They said, let this festival be identified as a state festival. And even at the current establishment, United Andhra Pradesh, they had to give a state festival status to Bhatkama. And these are small victories that came in the way. And then, of course, the state was eventually achieved in 2014. But then women played a greater role. And women always played a greater role in various uh, uh, wars or many, many movements across the world. Now, when for me personally, if I have to draw some inspiration from Telangana movement and adopt them in solving the problems of the world, how do I do it? And why do I say I can solve the problems of the world? You know what happens? It's so funny. Often, there are complex questions, very serious, huge questions. But the answers are very simple. Complex questions don't have to have complex answers. Complex questions can have simple problems. Now, what are the, what are the huge problems faced by the world? Inequality, poverty, climate change. Now, climate change is a huge issue. But how can I, as an individual, do something about it? Can't I do anything about it? I can stop a free from being fell. I can go plant a sapling. I can switch off my light. I can only use my AC when needed. I can do something in my own space. I don't have to be a tall leader. I don't have to be a Bill Gates to donate millions of dollars for research. I can do my own bit. What do I do to remove inequalities in the world? I don't have to go to Africa, try to feed poor people there and have a photograph in the paper. I can just start by helping my own helper. I can re eradicate poverty by donating if I have more than what I need. I can start doing things like how the squirrel did, like how the women in the Chipko movement did, like how everybody else in the world where people's movement mattered, where minority voices mattered, when small positive actions mattered. Similarly, we can do and solve these various issues in the world. And I sincerely believe there are very, very many things the world